Well, you are seeing images of the Urban Movie Channel's Fifth Ward, the series. It's a show based on fictional characters living in Houston's Fifth Ward, which is one of the city's six historic wards. Well, the show just wrapped its second season, and we're joined now by Greg Carter, who created, wrote, and produced the show, and veteran actor Reginald T. Dorsey. Gentlemen, welcome to Houston Live. Great to see you both. Great to be here. Thank you for having me. Courtney, Eric, thank you for having me. Well, Reginald, let's uh, let's start with you because we know um, besides being a Dallas native, a veteran in film and TV business, I mean, this is sort of like coming home, right? I know, I know it's H-Town, not <laughs> Dallas, but we're still going to claim you. It looks like maybe Reginald cannot hear us just yet. So, Greg, we're going to throw it on over to you. So, the showrunner, that is just, that's just one of many titles. Sort of explain how this all goes down, because Fifth Ward is something that you created, you produced. This is your brainchild. Yes. Well, the showrunner is normally the person who is responsible to the network for writing out the TV show, also uh, how behind the camera uh, and the once it's all done getting it delivered so uh, you're with the show the entire time you uh, find the writing staff and put together the writing staff uh, you hire the crew and also the actors so it's a it's a really interesting journey and for me it was always something I held personally to heart because uh, my family's originally from the neighborhood. My home church is Miles Chapel, which is on the corner of uh, Waco and Lyons. Mm -hmm. And I actually did a film based on the TV sh uh, that, was, that acted as a, as a prequel years and years ago. I don't want to say how old I am, but, <laughs> but uh, when about uh, 20 years ago, I did a feature film that was based on uh, the same characters. And so for me, it's just a joy to see it. Uh, come out again and be successful as a TV series now. What I think is so great, too, is that, you know, with with the ability to be able to shoot and do your own TV series now and have sort of all of this at our fingertips, but to not only focus on that, but to have a spotlight on Houston and the Fifth Ward. I mean, you know, you're a Houstonian, you have a master in filmmaking studies from Rice University. I mean, this is a big deal to be able to showcase Fifth Ward to the rest of the country, if not the world. Absolutely. Well, you know, my whole thing is that, you know, my journey as a film professional has never been just about me. It's been about also trying to, uh, uplift and bring other people with me. So we have such talented people uh, in front of the camera that for me, that most of those people are from Houston or maybe some even from the Fifth Ward neighborhood. For me, that we have people uh, behind the camera uh, that are mainly from Houston. Uh, that's a very big deal. And I hold that responsibility uh, uh, really close to my heart because uh, I do feel that, you know, we have a vibrant community of film people who live here in the Houston area. Uh, and so uh, showcasing that talent to the world is an important part of my journey. And so, uh, you know, as we continue to move into uh, our next season of the show and, and different things begin to happen, I want to make sure that everyone is engaged as much as possible. and know about the, the show and, and get a chance to check it out. Season three is coming up. I know that uh, principal photography mm -hmm. hasn't uh, commenced yet because of COVID, but that'll happen soon. Reginald, I think we have you back now. Can you finally hear us? All right, very nice, good news. Well, listen, so as Courtney was mentioning earlier, you're a Dallas native. We know you from 21 Jump Street, Magnum PI, the A-Team, Knight Rider. You have so many different credits to your name. And this role, I think the timing of this is really interesting because you play a police chief for a department that sort of is dealing with some turmoil and, and some mistrust issues with the police. So is that just coincidence on this timing? <laughs> and 
And Reginald, I'm sorry to jump in and interrupt. Somehow we cannot hear you now. My goodness, some, somehow bad technology can happen to good people. You're not muted, are you? There, uh, we heard something. We heard a little something. Hear me now? There we there go. It is. There you go. Now we can hear you loud and clear, Reginald. Let me see. I think it might be your headphones. Maybe you can try unplugging the headphones. Okay, can you hear me now? Oh, we much can. better. There we go. What a relief. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't hear you. But uh, I just want to say it was a pleasure to be able to step into those shoes uh, that Greg had created for me as a character. And um, I based a lot of the ethics and uh, the way that this particular character carried itself on Chief Azevedo of the uh, Houston PD. So that was an honor. It is so interesting, Greg, to see like these real life examples right. that, who could in inspire your actors and characters. Absolutely. And by the way, uh, if we can talk right. about Cre Greg, um, talk about the cast diversity, because this is really what stood out to me from the beginning in the trailer. Well, one of the things things about the show is that it takes place in Fifth Ward, and that is not a monolithic, uh, racially kind of block of a neighborhood. Uh, there are Latino people living in Fifth Ward, there are uh, Asian people living in Fifth Ward, uh, uh, Anglo, uh, Far Middle East. So we have such a racial diversity and mix of people that I wanted to make sure that that's reflected. Um, uh, one of the things that we do in the show, when you watch every episode, you're gonna see an interview by someone who is from the neighborhood, I worked in the neighborhood, and there was no, uh, no kind of list that we tried to put up. We just wanna to try to have, you know, these different people who had things to say about Fifth Ward. And, 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 and those groups were so racially diverse that when I was writing it, that I knew that I wanted to make sure that we had that same attention, that same authenticity. Because I, I think that, that's what's really important about television and television shows. You have to have that authenticity. You have to be able to look at a show and say, okay, we're going to do what we can to make sure every voice is heard. And that means that you have to go and be a little bit more uh, progressive uh, when you start thinking about what it is that makes a city special. Uh, is it the fact that we have a lot of natural resources, like people are familiar with Houston really big in the oil business? Is it that we have, you know, uh, the like one of the biggest cities as far as square footage? Or could it be that what makes the city very particularly special is that we have a diverse people? And I think that's what it really is. And so we try to do that not only with the groups of people that we had in front of the camera, but also uh, the groups of people that we had behind the camera. And so if you look to, if you turn that camera around and you looked at um, our crew, you would see that same kind of methodology in trying to make sure that we have equal voices uh, uh, heard and seen. So it's a very big part of who I am. Uh, my dad's a minister, my mom's a, a retired educator. And so uh, hopefully they're watching right now. Love you, mom and dad. <laughs> and and, and but, but what I try to do is make sure that we, we reflect those same values that I was raised up with in the show. Very nice, Greg I'm Carter. I'm good, guys. I can hear you now. All right. <laughs> well, that's the good news. The bad news is we're now out of time. But, guys, it is Fifth Ward, the series, mm -hmm. streaming now. Thank you so much for your time and for shining a spotlight on this historic neighborhood. Thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks Sounds guys. good. Take care. And for more info about where you can stream Fifth Ward, we do have a link on our website, HoustonLife.tv. And we'll be right back with a look at what's coming up on the news at 4.